Now, let's hear your uh, song that you chose, a Catalan song by Luis Llac, which you mentioned before. Mm. Let's listen to it first, and I'll translate some of the lyrics. Yeah. The lyrics, or the ones that we heard, goes like, I think I never told you, and I should really thank you for so many years of loving you. We have walked together, both in happy moments and in sad ones, and you have filled so often the emptiness of my words. For all that, and things that I hide, I should really thank you for so many years of loving you. And he also says, I'm jealous, and the little bit that I'm worth, I deny myself if you don't give me your love. And I love you, yes, in a very shy way, and maybe not even knowing how. Is that you? No, no, no. That is the best, one of the best for me, love songs I ever hear in my life. Sometimes when I meet English people or German people, so I would like to read what you read, so I would like to please translate that and leave this song. It's in Catalan, and mm -hmm. I know they don't speak Catalan because it's, our language is so small, but it's the, this is the real, real song. Luis Lack is a, one of the, my inspirations, like a person, like a singer. He's a Catalan singer, he's a legend there. Mm -hmm. is um, I think most popular, most loved guy, and have many many songs like Serrat, uh, but this one, especially this one, a more particular is a uh, is a uh, I discover like a teenager when you are the first love, the second love, and uh, it was part really really part it's part of my life. This song is definitely when the people say choose ten songs, this song is always there. He's also very dramatic in the way he's, he sings the song, uh, even though we tend to be seen Catalans as not very dramatic, very level-headed, but mm. there's a lot a lot of passion there. Mm. But, you know, what I meant is that you, is that is, is, is something that you recognize, are you jealous and uh, and you need Chris and uh, and your family to to, uh, to recognize you, to give you love, to all, all those things that he talks about here. But also, I know that you're shy, so... I have, are you able to tell them that you love them? Are you able to talk to them and tell Chris, you know, you're the woman of my life? I, you, you, you easily. No, I'm not shy to say how I love my people. I love. Maybe the opposite. I said maybe too many times <laughs> how I love them. So no, no, no. So I'm, I'm in that. I'm feel so Latin. I express. Um, I think my face or my body language express perfectly and what I feel that moment or who I am in that moment. So mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not escape, I'm not hiding. But this is a song how we explain the gratitude and the love for one person who, you know, we are not together anymore. So explain that. Uh, do you feel that um, the hugging and the kissing and the thing that you do to the players that that breaks down barriers because they're not used to especially english players they're not used to being hugged or or being given an emotional yeah. relationship manager player you think that that helps you to open up uh, no i don't know sometimes i think many times don't do that pep yeah i'm i i, I even now i don't know if uh if i should do that because uh Sometimes you you suffer more, you know. But if you get close to them, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you it, you were close when you first started uh, your career to the players, closer perhaps than now. No, emotionally no. Or not. Sometimes I think I will not be closer, but at the end you react. The football is passion is in on the field, especially. And sometimes I need to hug them. Sometimes I don't need to talk to them. So it depends. But the people forget. So we as a manager, but I'm a human being. And they have feelings too. We have feelings to all the managers. And the people believe we are ice or we are cold and you have to machine. You have That is far away or really we are. And and sometimes you need to hug them, to talk to them, to feel they trust. Always I try to be love for them. You know, all of us, we try to do that. But sometimes it's not, you know, but at the end you have to take decisions. Bad decisions, that is, it hurts them because mm -hmm. you don't play. And that's why they say, why did he hug me? And after, mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't allow me to play when they are there. And it, with that mix of of fighting, always there are big, big problems to handle that. So it's difficult. But it's what it is. So 
At the end, I try, whether we sure, when I hack, it's because I want to hack them. Mm -hmm. And when I don't hack them, it's because I don't want to <laughs> hack them. That is the truth. David Silva will be eternally grateful for what's happened in the last 12 yeah. months or so, uh, because sometimes football is not about life and death, isn't it? No, of course. So there are things that are of bigger than, than football. And of course. Yeah. I understand that the the first thing that you said to him was uh, um, no. oh, the first thing that you said to him was, "What do you need? You no, know, do you want to go back home? Just go back home." Is is that what how it went? Of course, of course. What 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 should I do differently, or what should manager would do differently? Please. So, mm -hmm. so always will be a, an am amazing part of our lives together with David. I think all the team, the squad, what uh, he lives. Of course, he suffers, but what happened? You know the premature, premature, uh, premature, yeah. premature child. Yeah. So, but the real, real premature, and he fought. Uh, the real Matteo fought. You know, for his life, a lot, many months. Mm -hmm. And and David said, if you had to stay three months there, stay three months there. When you want to come back, come back. Training, you want to play. So, decide yourself. So we are there. Everything you need is only when do. I think the people is going would have do with me, with you, with all of us. So the life, of course, that is just a part of our lives, but the life with David and Jessica and David and fighting for his son, so... But he's going well, he's strong, David is, I think, more mature. Now, I have a feeling he laughs more, he talks more, and uh, I think, you, you know, you, you have to, to live this kind of experience, especially to be father or mother, to, to realize. Mm -hmm. It was nice, it was nice to this this amazing happy end in that mm -hmm. that tough situation and i think matteo will be strong if he he survived or he fought for for his life anything can happen in his life he can he can handle it his dad is strong his dad is yeah, much really. stronger than people than real people think yeah. just because he's small yeah he's a strong no i mean the fact is what angel was shy don't talk too much and you know don't make a lot of interviews and and he's quiet and he's the people believe it's completely the opposite. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a real fighter. That's why Matteo will be, too. Mm -hmm. The last song we're going to hear is this very famous one. <laughs> 